Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone, welcome back to this internet with me, Grand Mason Stitch, where we're carrying on with our house Vakar playthrough. This could very well be the last episode of the season as we have almost forged the new Valyrian Empire. We are just taking Loroth and that is it. Once we've done that, we have reconquered the lands of Valyria. So, let's have a look. Obviously, we are playing as Emperor Orion II, a drunkard of new Valyria. We need a new ambition now. I'm We've got win the war or forge a bloodline. I'm going to go with forge a bloodline because that, that would be awesome if we could forge our own Orion Vakar bloodline. We obviously do have the Aenys Vakar bloodline, but it would be even better if we could forge another Vakar bloodline as well. We are calling up our forces here in New Valyria to get those together so that we can march on to Lorath. Awesome. Tyrosh and Mir are with us. As well as Pentos, so... Uh, cohort, sorry, not Pentos. So, we're going to have plenty of troops. We probably won't even need to take our own men up north, but we will anyway, just to try and take Lorath. It's going to be very easy. They've only got this little bit of land and then this random one over here as well. But, yeah, we should be able to take it no problem at all. Stuff is going off over in Westeros. And I noticed some interesting things. Like, we have the Gardeners as the Paramounts of the Reach, which is... Uh, of Dawn, sorry, which is very interesting. Red Winds is Paramount of the Reach. And then the Selmies are now Paramount of the Stormlands as well, which is very interesting. Lannister the same, Baratheon in the Riverlands. And then the Iron Islands, the North and the Vale all remain the same, as well as the Rock. Right, yeah, let's get our forces together so that we can march on Lorath and take that and finally forge New Valyria. Obviously, there is Bravos to take as well, but wasn't part of the Valyrian Empire, but we will take it anyway. The Dothraki Horselord Co. Roma has launched a raid on our lands, but if it's plunder they seek, perhaps we can try and placate them with a tribute. We will, for now, we will offer them some gifts for now, because now isn't the time to be going to war with those as well. But, once we have took Lorath, we will take the Dothraki down probably and try and claim back the Dothraki lands. But for now, we don't want a war on two fronts. We just want to get rid of Lorath, so we'll do that for now. Here we go. Everybody is starting to meet up here, especially with our, even with our fleets. I think we have got a fleet that is on its way from Illyria somewhere. Unless it's already here. It must have already docked. But yeah, we've got a decent sized amount of men here. Once everybody gets here, more than enough with our dragon to go and uh, take Lorath, I'd assume. The rest of the armies are already marching on to a... Uh, well, there's the Lorath army. They've not got much. Tyrosh have already got Lorath under siege, the capital. Your Imperial Majesty, your daughter, Princess Bayana, is responding very well to her tuition. She has improved her skills and advanced in knowledge every day. Plus two intrigue. Awesome. That's pretty good news, to be fair. Right. We can actually get on the ship. We've got enough ships for these men to get on, so we could go straight... Let's do that, actually, and then we can sail straight to the capital of Lorath instead. It'll be much quicker than a walking all that way, and we'll get all these men. Yeah, you just meet up in Sarmel for now, the reinforcements, and we can always do something else with you. We'll keep you back home to defend the home front. But let's wait for our ships to fly on round to Lorath. Your Imperial Majesty, the colony at Borosh, under siege by forces led by Archon Rono Redsis. In the defence... If the defence were to capitalise and let the fledging settlement be sat, there is a chance the colony may fail. A relief force must be sent. How, how many men have they sent there? 1,200. So we have actually got probably enough men to stop that once they all get there. But first, let's. has our ships arrived yet in Lorath? No, they've not. We'll let them get that under siege for now. And we will send this reinforcement there. I don't really care about what the gardeners are up to over in Westeros, if I'm perfectly honest. I'm not too bothered. Right, I've got 1,100 men there. Once they get here, we'll send them over to try and relieve Borash. Where's the... Here we go. Here comes the Vakar fleet. 14,000 men just sailing around the top of Lorath. What have they got? 132 men defending Lorath. But there is 5,900 men from Tyrosh and Kohor there. Let's... Dock the Armet with Orion, uh, Magor, and Shatkar Imperial, the Imperial General. There we go. 
King Orion the Gallant has declared King Orion's conquest of Talon. Okay, interesting. Right. We will deploy our dragon in the siege. Orion's known for just getting straight to the point. Dracaris on Lorath. Let's get it under siege. He wants to end this war and get his father's claim as quickly as possible. The gods drag Rosal from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand a trial by combat. Right, so let's have a look at you. You are a skilled fighter. No, I can't afford to lose him. I'll handle this myself. You are right. I will select someone to fight for the Emperor. Uh, hmm. We'll just send him back to prison for now. I can't be doing with trials at the moment. I don't want to risk... Orion probably would beat him, but I don't want to risk him. Not why we're now taking this. I want to get Valeria fully conquered first before anything happens to Orion. There's bound to be civil wars once he dies between all his bastard sons and his nephews over who tries to get the throne, but... You can marry as you please, good sir. Wow, we've just lost a lot of men. Your Imperial Majesty, my mission to Norvus has been so far a success. During a visit to the court of High Priest Mathoris, the Order of Peace of Norvos, I seem to have managed to make them understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. He sends his regards. Perfect. Can we deploy our dragon in the siege once again? Yes, we can. Dracaris. Whilst in battle in Lorath, Green Comet has been unfortunately wounded. Despite this, he will be able to continue fighting. Okay, at least it wasn't anything too serious. Though a covert conspiracy, my vassal Lord Terran Rianda has acquired a claim on the Kingdom of Valantis. This is a thin claim indeed. Okay, interesting. Uh, take his family and put them in house arrest. Lagon has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of New Valeria. It would be seen as a right and honourable course to reward him with certain incomes. Uh, agreed, we'll give him a bit of gold. Why not? That only took us to 65%, even though we took his family. But we'll carry on sieging. There is no one here of value. 70%. Wow, 13,000 men. She can cut her. It's my duty we're going to have to get involved, isn't she? Right. Let's dock the ships now in Lorath now that we can... Now that we've got it under siege. It's turning cold off. Great. Um, we're always in Mercy Legend. We propose that Lerion, Hor, and Henea Vacon marry. Yeah, a yeah, except I accept that. I like the horse, so we'll definitely go with that. Let's dock the men on the ship and let's go for... Let's just land here in Lorath and just take more land. Oh, Bravos so there come to help Lorath by the looks of it and we've got a dangerous wow we've got a few dangerous factions crown loyalists yeah you've been after that one for a while independence overthrow the monarchy of Valantis overthrow the monarchy of New Valeria hmm okay so we need to send our spy master to a few of these places sort out these uh, lords Right, so the worst one is our nephew. So if we send... I think you're already scheming there, though. So that's annoying. We just really need to keep an eye on that dangerous faction. Who has he got? You. Uh, send a gift. Let's send you a nice gift and try and get you on side and get you away. You're a dragon rider as well. Who? Who's your dragon? Seawing. Oh, so you've claimed Astorion's uh, old dragon. One-handed... Okay, I didn't know that that had been claimed. Let's award you an honorary title as well. Try and get you really on side. Land, have we got any crappy land that we could give you? Lordship of Arnoy, there you go. High Lordship of Arnoy, there you go. That should get... That should get him well and truly on side, hopefully, now. Keep him well away from that faction, I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. If not, I've just gave away land for no reason. Which I may have done. Never mind, we're only, we'll just burn them all anyway. Right, can we land, please? In Laura, thank you very much. And we'll take the rest of their lands. See, I do want our nephew to uh, inherit, if I'm honest, because he is a lot... He is a lot better than us. Uh, a lot better than our actual heir, sorry. So I wouldn't mind him if he did. Obviously, you're going to want it. Right, so a lot of the people seem to want that. So we could always go. If that happens, it happens. We'll still get to carry on as Vekar at least. So it's not the end of the world. Wow, one defender. Okay, attempt an assault. 
That was an easy victory. Let's move on to the next one. It's 69%. Lol. Uh, my dear friend, I wish to give you the honor of sending my child Vienna to you in Borash, making her your ward. Whitehorn's daughter. Yes, fine. A fine notion. Yes, thank you very much, Whitehorn. At least I know the whores are forever faithful. Get Arlax out there. Alright, let's keep trying to get Lorath. If this army hurries up and marches on to the next province, which is Fisher Point. Could go get the axe where the Andals are originally from. Do they worship the Andals up there? No, it's still the bearded priests. <clears throat> That Bravos army is pretty big. Right, yeah, we'll be able to attempt an assault here fairly, fairly easily. We could just use our dragon, but he is. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged. Uh, let's blackmail the vassal. I don't think it's going to work because he's quite stubborn. Oh, there's a lot of Dothraki wars going on as well, which is really annoying. Do not speak of me obligations and duties. I may be a vassal, but that does not make me your slave. Yeah, I'm going to say he normally uh, isn't too happy about that. Yes, bring the slaves to my camp. Uh, let's move on to... Let's go this way to avoid that Bravosi army, wherever they're hanging about and whatever they're doing. Dothraki are becoming a bit of a pain, which is always annoying. We need to keep an eye on them. Let's stop the ships over here. Dothraki are, like, formed near enough under one horde now, which is slightly worrying. We probably need to bring that down at some point, that Arakar clan. Need to be careful of that. Huge Dothraki horde. You don't want that sweeping into uh, New Valyria. Okay, winter. Still making a lot of money though, as usual. The campaign has been proved that Lord Arlix of Borash is clearly not of proper blood. I wish I would never have to meet him again. Arlix of Randy. Alright, so we're, are we now rivals? Your rival, we are now hate our, well, I suppose it is our sister's husband, our sister that we did have a dance of dragons with in the last episode who died in our prison. So, yeah, we probably are going to hate each other. Although he did join us over his wife, so 72% war score. Let's bring in the dragon, deploy dragon in the siege of Tracaris. Get the next one down, try and get these lands quickly. We'll move on to the axe once we siege this again. 72% war score, so we're almost there. Can't see. There we go. We can attempt an assault now. Great. And another one. Send supplies to relieve them. And another siege. There we go. Easy victory there. Now let's move on to the axe. Home of the Andals. The birthplace of the Andals, apparently, anyway. Let's move the ships around here just in, in case we do need them. Cohor and, uh, and Tyrosh still have that heavily under siege. I don't know what Mir and everyone else are doing there. Mm, I ain't got a clue. Uh, the, my acquaintance Gaiella has turned into an arrogant little bracket. No, she has reason to be proud, honestly. I don't really care what happens with the Lorafi. Right, can we deploy Green Comet in the siege? Yes, we can. Dracaris. Wow, look at him with his blue hair. Our dragon's wounded, so it's not doing a great amount when we are sieging these lands, so that's a worry. Our dragon isn't that old, is he? Either Green Comet. 42? 46? Yeah, I can say it's about the same age as Orion. He, he, he hatched his dragon quite young. My dear friend, I wish to give you the honour of sending my ch child Dora to you in Borash. That Whitehorn as well. He wants to send his other child to us. Very well, Whitehorn. He obviously uh, has great respect for Orion. An attempt to assault in eight days. We've got a revolt going on against the Targaryens. Five days until a week and attempt an assault. Come on. There we go. Victory. We're now at 84% war score. This is taking quite a while to bring down Laura, considering we've near enough sieged the majority of their lands. They've only got a couple of bits. So one, two, three, four provinces left. I'm not selling my slaves. You're not having any of my slaves. Great victory again. And another assault takes us up to 93% war score. Let's march on to this last area here. Axe Mountains. Another, well, obviously where the Andals came from. Do these worship the Andals? No, nope. still the bearded priests. 
Let's bring the ships around to the axe. Give them gold to keep them happy. Under my guidance, my young ward Zora is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. She's now a trained fighter. Reletis, gods of Lorath, eastern gods, okay. Ah, so a lot of these worship. Aha, I think he's surrendering. I accept. He has surrendered. Okay. He's saying it. Well, right, so finally, we've conquered the new Valyrian lands. Other than Brothers, we will drop our forces. Disband unit. Oh, no, we've got to wait a minute because we'll lose all those troops. No. Your Imperial Majesty, I'm pleased to report that the majority of the population of Valena has been converted to the Valyrian faith. Excellent. Right. Wait for things to settle down because we now have all of the new Valyrian lands apart from... Ah, so we are actually at war with Bravos. What did Bravos declare war on us for? This war is a war with Sephorios, a slave raid war. Okay, so I don't really care about that. What's this war with Bra Bravos? Pentoshi trade war over Woodmere. Okay, I'll leave them to it. They're a, mm, we could get involved and burn. Can we actually declare war on Bravos at the same time and just claim Bravos? No. I was going to leave Bravos free for now anyway and take it eventually. I'm a bit worried about the faceless men and Bravos. There's a lot of... I may leave, I'll leave Bravos and Pentos fighting it out. And then we've obviously got this native revolt of Zorbia with the Dothraka. Off a white piece. No, not interested. Okay. Still going to be careful of that faction. It looks... We have still got the crown loyalists though, so... Oh, and somebody has dropped out of this one, so that's good. They've only got 9,000 men, but they do have dragons, but our dragons are bigger. But once this thing is, we do have... If we go now on to du jour empires, we do... All of this, apart from Bravos, is actually New Valyria now. But then all of the Giscar Empire is also North Valeria. This little area up here is North Valeria. Uh, New Valeria, sorry. All of Sephorios is New Valeria. This land here... New Valeria. Some of it down here, New Valeria. So it's actually bigger than the original New Valeria. Our Valerian Empire now. Why? Why have we got this little bit of land clicked? I don't know. But yes, we finally conquered the New Valeria. Green Comet's wound is finally healed, returning him to full fighting strength. Awesome. So at least our dragon is now healed. How is the Great Plague going as well now? The wars between the Great Powers and New Valeria subsided for now. Awesome. So they should hopefully settle down. There we go. Just got to wait for the others. Obviously, we've got Mir, Pentos, and Lys as well. Yes, reappoint the old council. Let's have a look who we had on the old council. High Priest Zolo. Well, I'd rather have a different hand of the king. Now, to be honest, who have we got? Tyrell, Ezio, on it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> who with you? Pacified Province. Go with Sarmel. Collect taxes in Sarmel. Things are looking up. Where's our other storm singer? Yes. Our first wife. Let's go with her. And we want her to... Let's convert some more people. Let's convert the population of Sarmel to the Valyrian gods. We should do that really. Inheritance is, yeah, normal. I don't really want to change anything else, I don't think. Empire of Giscar, Empire of North Valyria, Kingdom of Land. I probably should destroy the Empire of uh, North Valyria now, shouldn't I? Destroying this title will cost you 800 siege. All du jour vassals of the Empire of New Val North Valyria will be upset. Oh, we lose some a bit. We don't really need it though now, do we? That's the annoying thing. Kingdom of Atlantis. Can we just... No. And Free City of Mantaris. I do think I will give the Kingdom of Valantis to somebody else. Let's give it to one of our loyal friends or vassals. Who have we got? Magor Hanaris the Arrogant. But he's actually against us in that plot, isn't he? So I don't really want to give it to him. But I do like the Hanarises. And he's got a son. How's his son? Mastermind Scott. Wow, a Mastermind Scott. I could give it to his son. Let's do that. Let's grant him the landed title. Ah, uh, we can't actually give him the Kingdom of Valantis. Could give him a lord, the Lordship of Arnoy, though, so we'll do that. There we go. Oh, we've got some troops here. We need to disband those units. That's probably why I couldn't declare war on um, 
Bravos. Could we now declare war on Bravos then? No. Have I still got... The Empire's that big now that I actually don't realise when I've got troops raised. No, we've not got any raised. Okay. Obviously, New Gis and Aspor are part of our kingdom as well. That Dothraki land is terrifying. Where is their capital here? How many men does he have in his horde? 18,000. So it's not too bad. We could take we could take that on. And I think we will. We've got the Tall Man Kingdoms as well still. We've still got uh, Soth that needs to be taken at some point. We will take that. And Umbo is another one, isn't it? Yeah, of the Tall Men. We'll take them as well at some point. And close in around the Dothraki. I want to take all the... I want to own everything up to the... Is it the Bone Mountains? We need to take Calf still. Calf would probably be pretty easy to uh, take, to be honest. I don't think Calf would be too much of a problem at all. I think we, I think we could take that. Yeeties a complete mess. But I can't wait till we finally get to war with the top. Why is this glowing down here? What's what's happening here? It's so exciting. Okay, anyway, we will end this episode here and we will end season two of House Vakar here. We have forged the Empire of New Valyria now. It is all done and dusted. It's actually bigger than the original new uh, the original old Valyria as we've spread out eastwards a lot further than they did as well as south. But season three will be back soon, guys. Don't worry about that. I'll just take a short break from it and concentrate on the other series that we've got. But we will come back in season three, maybe with a bit of a time skip again, ready for some really cool stuff that I have got lined up for that. So thank you once again for watching and all the support in this series. I hope you have enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And hopefully I'll see you very soon for my next video, which should be The Walking tomorrow or The Knights of the North on Sunday. Thank you and goodbye.